You are tuned in to the Gift of Gab podcast, a podcast where we are intentionally growing, accepting, and becoming the best version of ourselves. We focus on all things healing, wellness, spirituality, self-development, and bettering our relationship with ourselves and others. In every episode, we'll be reflecting on lessons learned through past experiences, setting goals, and helping each other reach our fullest potential. I am your host, Gabrielle Ariana, and welcome to this week's episode. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the Gift of Gab podcast. I am your host, Gabra Ariana. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm happy to have you. Hope you stay. Check us out. Share. Um, follow, subscribe. All those beautiful things. If you're returning, as always, thank you so much for being locked in. I'm grateful for everyone who's listening to my podcast. I'm grateful for anyone that it reaches. We're going to get right into it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to title this episode, but I really don't know because... From what I'm about to talk about, I really don't know how to title it. As you all know, I, well, if you listen to any of my previous episodes, or at least one episode in particular, then you would know that I am a huge fan and I love, 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 love me some Nina Simone. I love her so much. I feel like she is one of those people who is very strong-willed, unapologetically herself. She was very misunderstood and there's a song by her that i love very much i'm not going to talk about in this episode but i'm going to just shout it out because i might as well since i'm talking about her and it's called don't let me be misunderstood and in some ways honestly i feel like it kind of ties into what i'm going to talk about so i I guess this is god speaking through me y'all know like i don't like to talk about anything in my podcast unless i hundred i know for sure that i relate to it and if i'm if, if, if anything i talked about i relate to i'm going through it i'm going through it I'm currently getting over it or God is working me through it. And yeah, so there's a quote by Nina Simone that I love. And it's a quote that I have heavily been on my heart. And God has been just, you know, really telling telling me very much so recently within the last like few months, especially, um, especially. And the quote is, you've got to learn to leave the table when love's no longer being served. I'm going to say it again for the people in the back in case you didn't hear me or hear Nina because maybe this is what she said is you have got to learn to leave the table when love's no longer being served. When I think of that quote, when I hear it, it heavily, heavily, heavily just puts me in a space of reflection and honestly, we're like a bunch of things just kind of flash before my eyes I'm seeing so many different things from like a bird's eye perspective and it puts a lot of things into perspective so allows me the space to reflect in the present but also in the past but also in the future and I say that because I can reflect reflect in my present of what it is that I'm doing now what table am I at now that's where where there is not any love being served what tables was I once at previously where the love wasn't being served that I grew out of grew from um finally decided to leave and what tables in the future for my future self do I really envision and want for myself to be at where the love is being served and the love that's being served is in alignment with the definition of love that I exude that I put out there that I embody that I deserve right and that I reciprocate to people and I am in a space right now in a time where I'm God is like you have to really 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 not just learn it I think learning I talked about this previously in one of my episodes is knowing better versus doing better and I feel like learning is equates to just the knowing of something right you when you learn something you now have this newfound awareness or newfound you know information of something but that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to apply it and do the better right um and I feel like I've always in some way I knew that and I had already learned that the tables that I was at was not love being served but I was still there and I was still sticking it out and staying around 
And honestly, in a metaphoric way, I would say that I was the table in a lot of these relationships and times because I was the person who was putting the pieces together when the foundation felt like uneasy, rocky, not stable, not secure. I am that table that feels insecure, feels unstable in that relationship, don't feel like we're on a great foundation, don't feel like it's reciprocity, don't feel like it's love. And so I was still, you know, being chipped and bruised by the way people would treat me, by what I would allow, by just the relationships that I was in and the things that I was going through. Pretty much allowing those things to break me and kind of telling myself like, well, this is love, right? Because I love this person or this person loves me, vice versa, you know, stick it out, right? But then I have to think about it. Like I say this all the time on my podcast is definition of things matter. And I'm going to always drill this in, y'all. I'm going to always drill this in. I'm going to always bring it up because it does if, if what someone is doing to you and how someone is treating you is what they deem love and you can sit with yourself and be hurt by that, how they materialize that love and be aware that the way that they're materializing love hurts you and affects you and leaves you unstable and secure like a, a, a table with a broken leg, then that lets, the, that lets you know that that's not the love that you're worthy of. It's not the love that you are deserving of. And it's also not the type of love that you should be receiving because it's not the type of love that you're exuding out. It's not the type of love that you're extending to that same person or, you know, relationship. And I very recently have had an experience well, where I'm just like, yeah, this is not love being served to me in any way shape or form it's not the type of love that I should be receiving it is not the type of love that I give to these people it's 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 just not the type of love that I that anyone should be you know experiencing it shouldn't even be called love because what it really is is hurt what it really is is mistreatment it is disrespect it is you know taking advantage It's a lot of things. Um, It's everything but love. And that's why I'm really big on definitions of things. Because when you and someone else can come together and you see that what they deem respect as, love as, anything, anywhere you can think of. And it is, it is, it is a hundred thousand percent, not even by any means close to what you define that same thing as, you're automatically like not in line with each other. You're automatically at odds. And it's auto- automatically a disconnect because what they're gonna be putting out there and you receive that thing, it's letting them know that that is okay. It's letting them know that that's how you receive love. That's how you feel like love should be materialized to you. And ultimately, It's leaving you hurt. It's leaving you feeling like you're less than. It's kind of making you question in a sense, like, what is this? Like, why am I experiencing this? But I'm a person of accountability, 100%. I can sit and say, hey, I know for a fact that this person treated me this way. I was aware of how they were treating me. I was obviously aware of how it's affecting me, how it does affect me, still affects me. And if they do it again, it's going to affect me even more. But I'm also aware that if I keep allowing it, that if anything I'm playing the more of a role than they ever could because I'm the person receiving it I've already acknowledged what it was and acknowledged that it's disrespectful towards me that it does not make me feel good it doesn't feel like love it doesn't feel like security it doesn't feel like stability but yet I'm still receiving it and trying to convince myself like hey you know this is not what they really mean by it and I think I talked about in a previous episode about like how you can do something and how you're projecting it out can be one thing, but how someone receives it is something completely different. So being mindful of how you just being more mindful of your actions and how what you're doing and what you're saying when it comes to other people 
it really matters you know being intentional matters but also being mindful of the fact that you may mean something one way and feel like you're projecting it out that way but that's not how they're going to receive it so i feel like nina she is such a wise person i feel she's very very wise very wise person anyone if even if you don't stare as a musical artist just looking at her interviews and clips of her talking and speaking wisdom it will just change your perspective on a lot of things i feel like it would definitely allow you to be able to reflect on yourself and just you know look at something else look at something or someone or any situation outside of a perspective that that's not your own but i'm definitely at this point where I've been well at this point and I feel like God is just not really like girl please learn this lesson because if you don't learn this lesson this 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 a hundredth time that I'm giving it to you you're going to dig yourself in an even bigger deeper hole of just hurt I've been so hurt by so many different things so many different people so many different relationships it's kind of crazy honestly but I can definitely reflect and say hey you can think back on what point of where you realized that it was hurt or disrespect mistreatment unappreciation not love the kind that i'm deserving of um and you still stayed and you still tried to pour into that person that relationship you still was trying to be that table where it's like they're the chair they're the person with the chair coming to sit at your table and take advantage of the stability that you bring the security that you bring the foundation and steadiness that you are as a person because i know for a fact i've been in so many different relationships where friends family whatever i know the other person is very secure and stable when it comes to me and how i feel about them because i make it very clear very stern and i make sure that the people that i am in relationships with i want for them to feel stable secure and loved in a very healthy way so i know other people can speak like hey gabby really cared about me gabby really was there for me she was very reliable she was all these beautiful things supportive right the foundation that i have for her or with have that she gives to me i don't have to question it i don't have to double think twice about it whereas me on the opposite end questioning everything because i'm just like how can I be this stable of a person, secure of a person, loving of a person, support, supportive of a person to other people and other relationships? And I'm over here questioning everything and I'm hurt. It's leaving me hurt. It's leaving me dry. It's leaving me thin. So everything that I've ever talked about on this podcast, I promise you, you guys, I have been through it and I'm still learning from it. I'm still trying and, and I'm asking God to, you know, really assist me in mastering these things that I know for sure I am implementing, needing to implement into my life and into myself and instill into myself because essentially a lot of the things that I have allowed so much of and that I'm healing from, I do play a role because there was a point where I was aware. I, I, the awareness came, like the revelations that I have with, with people and relationships and things or just anything in life in general. I have so many revelations just randomly where I'm just like, oh my gosh. It's like an aha moment where I'm like, oh, that's what this is. That's what this means. And that's what I just had recently. It was like this aha moment of like, yeah, you, you really, you don't really care about me for real. Like you, no, nah, you, you know what you can get from me. You know what I can do for you, will do for you, have done for you. You know that I'm going to be there. You are very secure and stable and loved in this relationship with me. But you are not exuding that same type of love, that same type of stability, that same type of security. And so it's time to leave the table. It's time to not even just leave the table, but stop being the table to those type of people. Anyone who's listening, I'm... And you relate to this, there is something, someone, or at some point in time, if, if, whether it's the present time or in the past where you have past relationships with someone and you just knew, like, you reached that point, you had that aha moment, that revelation, 
and realize that this is not love being served to me. And if that's what they, and if, if, if they're saying it's love, right? Cause people will gaslight you till you are blue, black, purple, literally every color of the rainbow into thinking that their actions and what they're doing is love or that what they're doing is a reaction to you when really it's not what you're doing is responding to their actions because they refuse to hold themselves accountable or they refuse to acknowledge what they're doing some people are so in denial with you know how they are not even in, i don't want to even use the word in denial but oblivious is i think that's the correct term is to say is oblivious to their own actions and how their actions can really affect a person especially when you surround yourself with people who do not hold you accountable and that's why i'm very selective on the people that i choose to be around and call a friend or in any scenario because i don't never want to be around anyone who can literally sit and bathe in bullshit with me absolutely not i don't do that for other people I don't want no one to do that for me. You're not going to grow that way. I'm not going to grow that way. It's not going to really benefit any of us. At the end of the day, it's only going to keep you in a cycle of experiencing the same types of things. I can say that from experience because there was a point where I was actually bathing in the bullshit, you know, in my own bullshit. Like, and, and for me, it was like in a sense of, exp of kind of gaslighting myself. Like, no, this person don't treat me this way because they don't love me. Not because it really starts to make you feel like you're crazy. And I've had way too many instances and in, in been into many relationships with people where I began to think that I was crazy when I know for a fact that I am not. And I know for a fact that I know what I know and that people were not expecting me to know what I know. Or at the very minimum, act on what it is that I know and that they know that I knew. And when they saw me react to that and actually act and respond to what I already knew, but they didn't know that I knew. And if you get what I'm saying, then you get it. Um, I really don't know how else to explain that. I noticed like for myself, and this is something that I know for a fact I really need to get out of, but it's kind of hard, especially when it's, when it, when it's coming, when it, when it deals with people that I really care about and I love, because you know, when you love someone and you care about someone, you don't want to easily go the route of the worst case scenario or think like, you know, the, the, the worst of someone or or misconstrue their actions as something you know negative or they intentionally maliciously hurt you you don't ever want to do that when it's someone you care about obviously but then there's where you need to kind of have that discernment and apply you know those lessons god's been teaching you and be like well they may not you know intentionally decide intentionally hurt you and they didn't probably sit and think and plot and plan to do so. But that doesn't negate from the fact that they actually still did hurt you. And I feel like just how you can sit and think about doing something negatively, you can also sit and think about doing something positively. And I want for people in my life to be someone who can sit and think before they do something and say, how would what I'm doing or what I possibly could do or would do will affect this person. Consideration is so important. I feel like I'm very, 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 I'm gonna keep saying very considerate of other people. And this is because I'm a recovering people pleaser. So I've literally been my entire life, constantly, always thinking about other people. And down to, uh, because I know how I can come off to other people, I make sure that I go out of my way to be very intentional and make sure that and make sure that I'm not projecting it in a way that can be received opposite of what I really intend for it to be. Right? If I know that my intentions is for it to be received as loved or I'm being caring of you, considerate of you, respectful of you, I'm overly overly intentional and I'm making sure that i am not perceiving it or projecting it i'm not perceiving it but i'm not projecting it out in any way other than that because i don't want it to be received that way however i have not been on the receiving end of that type of consideration from the people that i've had relationships with and that really hurts 
honestly it does because I, I can I've always been like such the odd one out when it comes to relationships of any kind family and friends you know I've just kind of been that person that is never really like I'm not gonna say secure but like in a legit like circle of people on a mutual common like level um even within my own family like I feel like the out I not feel like the outsider I am the outsider I am the person who is just complete opposite of everyone I think differently than everyone I move differently than everyone I'm very considerate very respectful very re- loving supportive always 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 there you, you know you can call Gabby and if you need anything and she is going to show up for you and she is going to do what she can in any way possible I've always been that person for everybody that I know always and it's kind of making me emotional a little bit just thinking about it because I just haven't experienced that type of same consideration or love respect you know anything support and so I've had to have left leave a lot of tables because it wasn't love being served the kind of love that I'm deserving of and I kind of got off track because I was starting to talk about how I tend to stay physically longer than I should with relationships and things like I leave a situation or a relationship or anything a job even whatever doesn't matter what it is mentally first before I do physically I'm a spiritual person and um I believe things happen spiritually before it comes obviously happens in the physical and spiritually I have seen so many things like a lot of things that's how I know what I know and I would guess let me talk about my gas I would gaslight myself like oh no this is not this is not what this means and when I say that I mean it like, my, like in my dreams I've seen so many things in my dreams and you know I know how your subconscious can kind of tell a story and then there's also like things that God is really showing you and if I feel like when you were when you're seeing something repetitively or you're being put in these same type of cycles of relationships and things it's like at some point it's not just coincidence I don't believe in coincidences let me just say that I don't believe in coincidences I believe everything happens for a reason every person you meet every relationship that you in every job that you go to down to the shirt that you wear the time you wake up in the morning everything has some type of divine reason into it and I don't mean every single thing that happens you know that has a reason it's like a grandiose like oh my god because this huge this thing happened that you know it whatever but I do believe everything happens for a reason and when God is showing you something continuously on a continuous basis, they're putting you in the same type of like cycles. At some point you have to realize like, baby, I need to break the cycle. I need to leave this table. I need to stop being the table and stop being the legs that is holding it all together. While other people are just kicking at one of the legs and it's like dent- dented, tilted. Now I'm like hanging by a thread, but I'm gonna build myself back up again, be stable for this person, be secure for this relationship be you know making sure it's 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 a good foundation make sure that they know that I love and care about them but they're not doing the same thing we gotta let that go so spiritually I feel like I have left a lot of things in relationships and people and whatever first and then my mind I start to think about it a whole lot and I'm in that phase of like gaslighting myself but still kind of like I gotta say it out loud I gotta think about it I gotta let it sit with me to really be like is this really what it is for real? Like, does this person really not care about me? Or am I just in my feelings and I'm just kind of making it seem that way? Is this my trauma triggering me? And I'm just, it's a trauma response. Like, what is it? Let's try to, you know, figure it out. And then it's like the physicality of life comes later because the physical is very, it's always last things. Everything happens spiritually first and the physical is just catching up with the spirit. That's, that's all it is. And then at some point physically, I'm like, yeah, no, I'm cool. I check out like I'm going to log off now. Got to go get him up from the table and I'm leaving because this is not love. And this is where I'm at right now. I have zero desire to be in any type of relationship 
be at any place, in any space, environment that is not of love, that I am worthy of, that I'm deserving of, that I give out, um, any of those things. That's not respect. That's not consideration. That's not real. It's not authentic. It's not genuine. I don't want any of those things. And I feel like I have, I don't want to say held myself back. Because again, I do think everything happens for a reason. I feel like we have the revelations that we have, the time that we have them when we're supposed to have them. When you finally leave something, it's like, okay. Yeah. Like the knowing better, doing better. Yeah, I knew that this wasn't good for me. I knew that this wasn't serving me. I knew that this wasn't the type of love that I deserve. But at that time, did I want better? Yes. Was I willing to do what I needed to do? What it took for me to get that better? And which is leaving someone that I love and care about? No. But now it's like, I have to love me first, right? I have to put me first. And um, I have to now be mindful of the foundation that I'm building within myself. And, and it's, you know, when I reflect on this podcast, because um, I forgot to mention this is actually going to be the final episode for this season. And God just kind of placed it on my heart for it to be the final episode until, you know, your girl is on a better foundation because God is establishing me. God is moving me. God is putting me back together and, you know, really shaping me and molding me for what's to come next. I, because this is my last episode, it's such a like bittersweet feeling because I feel very good and proud of myself to have gotten so far in my podcast. There was a lot of things that has taken place in the process of me doing this podcast, recording for the podcast, releasing it. So, so much, like a lot of things have taken place. And that time has not come yet for me to tell that story. So until then, it's just going to keep maturing. Um, But now it's like I'm at the space where really, this is why I'm so, I'm so like, I don't want to ever be someone who's so like just wrapped up in like self-work, 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 self-work and no time for playing because you know, if you know me, I'm a very funny person. I love to laugh. I love good vibes, all those beautiful things. Um, however, you know, I do know that self-work is important when it comes to life because that's what we're here to do. I feel like everyone's purpose in life, you know, everyone has the same purpose. We may have our own individual purposes that can affect the masses or whoever it's finally meant to reach. But the one purpose that every person has when they come here is to evolve. Evolution is literally what life is. You're here to evolve. You're here to grow. You're here to ungrow, unlearn. You're here to adapt, become something different, rebirth. We're here to do all those things. And I have spent the majority of my life trying to help other people evolve, help other people grow, help other people be aware and see themselves while in the process and the same time being blind to who I was and what it was that I was doing and how that was affecting me. And now I'm just like really seeing myself in my entirety and I can hold myself accountable and be like, girl, you, you know, you were at a table. You were creating a table and a foundation within your own self that wasn't even of a place of the type of love that you deserve because of how you were treating your own self and how allowing, and by how you were treating yourself is how you were allowing other people to treat you. And vice versa, how you allow other people to treat you is how you was treating yourself. So it's no more of that. It is time for me to be very intentional on who and what and where I go, surround myself with, create relationships with, allow to have my time or any of those things. And uh, like I said in my last episode, y'all, I'm a lover girl. I am being very intentional on really embodying that. And I don't want to be in any relationship any environment or any space where I cannot be that in its entirety because that's truly just who I am at heart if I feel like I gotta be hard and do all that automatically disconnect automatic we're just not aligned it's an automatic 
No for me. That's where I'm at. That is where I'm at, y'all. Shout out to Nina Simone. I love her so much. I love her, love her, love her, love her, love her so much. Beautiful soul she is. And yeah, so that is the final episode of this season of season one of the gift of gab growing accepting and becoming podcast where we are intentionally growing we are intentionally accepting and intentionally becoming someone better okay period yeah this is where it's at so i want for everyone who's listening to I want to leave you with this. I want you to sit with yourself right now in this moment and reflect on the foundation that you have within yourself, the table that you have within yourself, the table that you have with other people, the table with the place that you are in, the environment that you're living in, because it's more than just a relationship. It is how you are treating yourself. It is the environment that you're in, the place that you're physically living at, the, the, the job that you go to, your family, your significant other, the things that you were entertaining, what foundations, what table was table there? How does that table look? Is it stable? Is it secure? Are you the table in that scenario? Are you the one that's bringing the stability, the security, the, the, the ability for the other person to feel secure while you are breaking down because you're trying to hold it all together. Is this place that you're living in, you know, is it is it hurting you more than it is healing you? That's the question. Is it hurting you more than it's healing you? Is it taking away from your growth? Is it making you have to grow away and grow apart from something or that person or that place are you putting in more work than you are receiving because i don't believe in work i know in one of the episodes previously that i recorded that i released i talked about how i do not believe in work baby work seems hard work seems like friction it gets forced we don't we don't work over here we do things effortlessly in a flow and in alignment because when it's alignment and it's a divine alignment at that it's god orchestrated what work you really doing for real y'all just coming up and y'all showing up and y'all being your busy being your your full authentic self and they're being their full authentic self unapologetically and it, and it goes well it's two puzzle pieces being put together because they fit not two puzzle pieces that do not go together and you working so hard to try to make it fit that it's so much friction and it's not working so reflect Sit with yourself, ask yourself these questions, journal about it. I've been journaling a lot more. more that's how I know God is really working on me because, baby, i not really a journaler because my hand be hurting. I, I talk, so I got a podcast. So I'll be doing my little voice recordings. I'll be doing videos just for my own self where I do like video diaries and I just kind of talk out loud. But God has been putting it on my heart to just write some stuff down. It's not on paper. It's not real. And plus, you can go back to it, you know, you get to see your own growth, which I think is beautiful. But yeah, journal about these things. Ask yourself these questions. Really reflect. Is it really something that is healing you, assisting you in your healing, in your growth? Or is it hindering you? Is it hurting you? Is it a leg chopped off and you acting like it's not broken? But it is. We don't want that. So you have got to learn to leave the table in love. And not just not just not just any love, but the type of love that you deserve, the type of love that you are worthy of, the type of love that you embody, the type of love that you exude is not being served. And that goes to more. And I say love because respect, consideration, support, all of those things are under the umbrella of love. They're extensions of love. So love itself is the overall umbrella, the overall foundation. Love is the table. And if it's not love, the kind that you deserve, the kind that you embody, the kind that you exude, and you are worthy of, because you're worthy of love. 
get up from that table and go. If you're at the table, walk to your own self somewhere else until real love comes sitting down at your table. Reciprocity comes to you. So we're not in a state of force anymore. Not forcing anything to work out with anybody. It just, if it don't work, it don't work. It just wasn't meant. And you know, that's fine. That's okay. That's good. That's great. Cause now we know that it don't work. So that's all I have for y'all. I pray everyone is having an amazing time and I just pray real. I pray love on everybody, all types of love and all types of forms and type of fashions, relationships, love and passion, love and creativity, love and the things that you want to do in life. Just a loving life, living, living your life in full love, beautiful love and connectedness, all of those beautiful things. And I pray for healing over those who need it. I just also pray that God is is present in y'all's lives and you're making a making it, it known that you that you're being intentional with yourself and you're being intentional with your relationship with God. I feel like when you're intentional with your relationship with God, it can really transform your entire life. And it really can start with transforming you as a person and that manifests into your life itself externally just transforming. So yes, thank y'all so much. This is the final episode of the season. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Super, super grateful, super excited. We made it to a year. I did wait to record this episode and to release it at this time because I was like so much was going on where I was getting the revelations of like this is not love in my table being served so I gotta go and I was going through so much and I was in shambles and I was like starting to beat myself up because I didn't record and I didn't release an episode but I didn't want to force it and just talk about anything because I did try to record and when I recorded it was just a bunch of gibberish and I was just like this is not it but I don't know what God is placing on my heart to talk about. So like, I just can't, I can't do it. And I was telling myself like, girl, you supposed to be more consistent and record your episodes every two weeks. What's going on? But I'm just like, there's what I was talking about. Wasn't really just like God saying, girl, this is what you really got to talk about. So I just say, you know what? I'm gonna let God fix it. Cause if I fix it, it's going to be a bunch of BS, not of good quality. So I just didn't record. I didn't release it. And now I'm just like, you know what, girl, you finna reach your one year anyways. <laughs> when I had that revelation, I'm like, this is what you got to talk about. I was like, okay, okay, God, this is what I'm talking about. But we gonna wait to release it on this day. And so at this point, now that it's out, we have reached a year of the Gift of Gab podcast. Literally. I'm releasing this on the 25th and my podcast reaches one year on the 27th or the 26 the 26 um so i'm excited i think this is amazing and i'm just grateful i'm grateful no it was the 27th i knew what i was talking about yeah the 27th was when my podcast came out initially it was may 27th 2023 today's the 25th well not really today's not the 25th but when it, when y'all hear it, it's gonna be the 25th so two days and boom we reached a year so Shout out to me. I'm excited, super grateful, super happy, and I'm just thankful right now. I feel really, really, really good. And I just know God is working on me and God is moving mountains for me right now as we speak and for you as well. Whatever you're praying for, whatever you are, you know, praying for God to do for you, it's already done. Ooh, let me stop because I'm going to start talking about something else. I'm, I'm going to transition to a whole different topic because that's a whole episode within itself. It just may be the episode that I start with next season. So who knows? Thank you all so much for listening. I love you all so much. If you align with this, if you feel like it's helping you or beneficial to you in any type of way, I'm just, I'm just extremely, extremely, extremely grateful. Please share. Please like. Please comment. Please make some noise. Do whatever you got to do. Share it to a friend. Tell a friend, tell your mom, tell your daddy, tell your family, whoever you got to tell, your friend, your coworker, whoever. Just thank you so much. I love everyone that's listening. I'll see y'all next time. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of the Gift of Gab podcast. Be sure to follow us on all social media platforms at the Gift of Gab underscore pod. I will speak to you all next week. Thank you guys so much. Continue to grow, accept, and become someone greater than you are now.